Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, I will show you how to calculate confidence interval for the difference between two proportions. If you want to do it by hand, this will be the formula you're going to use. So the formula says that you have to calculate the difference between the two proportions first. Then you use this difference minus the z critical value times standard error for the difference to get the lower limit. And use the difference plus the z critical value times the standard error for the difference to get the upper limit. And how do you get the standard error? The standard error is uh, calculated by using this formula. The square root of p1 hat q1 hat over n1. This is sample size for uh, sample 1. Plus p2 hat q2 hat over n2. N2 is the sample size for uh, sample 2. So this is quite complicated. And you also need to know that Q1 equal to 1 minus 1 P hat. And Q2 hat equal to 1 minus P2 hat. So uh, it takes a lot of time to do this by hand. And you also need to find the Z critical value. Because this Z value varies with different levels of confidence. For example, when your confidence level is 95%, then the Z is 1.96. And when you have 99%, you will have a different value. And I also made a video to show you how to find the Z value. But we can save time by directly calculating the confidence interval in stack crunch. So let's look at example. So let's look at some data here. Suppose we have two samples, a random sample of 936 university students. And we found 214 of them had interest in studying abroad. And then we took a random sample from University B. And the sample size 853. And we found that 247 had interest in studying abroad. So suppose that the P1 had is from uh, is the sample proportion for University A, and P2 hat is the sample proportion uh, proportion. I'm sorry, proportion for uh, University B. So if I ask you to calculate 99 confidence interval for P1 hat minus P2 hat, how can you do that uh, in Stack Crunch? Now because you look at this, this is proportion, and now we have two samples. So what you do is you go to uh, stats, proportion stat, and two, stat, uh, two samples with summary. And you want to make sure which one is your sample one and which one is your sample two. So we say that assume that our uh, assume that P1 is the proportion of student from University A. So let's look at sample one is University A. So our observation is nine. 3, 6, and the number of success is 2, 14. So sample 2 is University B. University B, we have 853. And our number of success for this university is 247. So 247. Now, because we calculate our confidence interval, under perform, you can click on confidence interval. Because we need 99% confidence interval, so you're going to change that 95 to 99. And this is all you need to do. You just need to set up the values for sample 1, sample 2, click on confidence level interval, and change the level based on your question. Sometimes we require 90%, sometimes we say 95, 99, 98. But it doesn't matter, you just change the number. And then you just click on Compute. Uh, this output gives you uh, a lot of information. Like count one is the number of success for sample one, total one, sample size for uh, the sample one, number of success for sample two, total uh, sample for the sample two. And this is sample difference means P1 hat minus P2 hat. And the standard error is the value that we uh, show in this formula. That's this number, standard error. 
of the difference. So instead crunch is so easy, right? You get everything at the same time. And the lower limit means the lower bound of the confidence interval. Upper limit is the upper bound of the confidence interval. So you will see that the 99% confidence interval for the difference of the population uh, proportion is um, from negative 0.1143217 to negative 0.0075458196. So that's how you do confidence interval for the difference between two sample proportion, two proportion, we should say that. Okay, I hope you learned something. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.